seven months into his second stint as New York City's police commissioner, Bill Bratton's leadership is under attack. It is familiar territory for the man who also led police in Los Angeles and Boston. Last month, the man accused of illegally selling cigarettes died as NYPD officers wrestled with him. Eric Garner's arrest, caught on video, led to protests. New York's medical examiner ruled that a banned chokehold was the main factor in Garner's death. Commissioner Bill Bratton is here for his first national TV interview since this case happened. Good morning, Commissioner. Good, morning. Good to have you here. Let's talk first about this Garner case because chokeholds have been banned right in the NYPD since the 90s. What happened here? Why was this violent force used? And is it at all defensible? Well, there's an investigation by the district attorney's office at the moment, and we're going to have to wait to see the results of that investigation. We have a parallel administrative investigation in the police department, but we don't come into it till the district attorney finishes his look to see if this is a criminal act that was committed. Uh, so I think we're all going to have to just stand by a little bit and wait to see what uh, he determines. I understand there's an investigation, and, and that's important. But when you see this video, many people think, this is over the top. What you're seeing is a snippet. It's an eight-minute video, actually. And in terms of the activities before the video began, some of the activities after it ended. So that's the totality that we have to take into account in the investigation. What we see is certainly disturbing. Uh, policing, unfortunately, when force is used, is never uh, uh, good to look at. Uh, this particular scene, which has been repeated thousands upon thousands of times, uh, really has uh, struck a, a, a chord in the public. Commissioner, critics are blaming your broken windows policy. It's been hailed all around the world as successful, going after low-level crimes before big ones happen. Okay, so in this case, many people are upset, however, because they feel it's targeting communities of color. How do you respond to that? We are not targeting communities of color. We are targeting behavior. That, uh, and the behavior is things that are uh, prohibited by law, uh, breaking the law. And uh, make no mistake about it, this city is one of the safest cities in the world today because of that targeting of not only minor crimes, but serious crimes back in the 1990s. Serious crime is down dramatically. And even the quality of life behavior that is being uh, uh, talked about now uh, it's still out there, quite obviously, because we're still finding enforcement. Today's uh, New York Post, you'd think we were being overrun by squeegee pests. I know. They, let's, let's take a look uh, at that. This they do they the document three people that have been seen uh, act acting as squeegee pests. Uh, we're not being overrun. Those will be taken care of very, very quickly. But here's the, the dilemma. You have those that want it enforced, and you have those that don't want it enforced. We enforce the law. We enforce mm -hmm. behavior, and we don't go after any class of people. Can we, but Garner was selling cigarettes, that's right. and now he's dead. Mm -hmm. um, and one of, the, one of the questions that's been raised is that the police department reported making almost 400,000 arrests last year. That is tens of thousands of more arrests than in 1995 when there were three times as many murders in the city. Um, so the question is, crime is down, arrests are up, that you are arresting too many people for minor offenses, and that that's a problem. But what also is reported is that the state prison population is down dramatically because we're closing prisons. Rikers Island, which used to have on average about 22,000 prisoners a day, has about 12,000 now. Why? Because the serious crime that would get people sentenced to those facilities is down dramatically. Why? Because we're stopping the behavior before it becomes more serious. So I'd rather have more summonsable offenses where people don't go to jail mm -hmm. than having more people go to jail. So do you want to fill up the prisons again, or do you want to stop the behavior while it's still in a minor stage? Critics would also say... have to decide mm -hmm. what they want. Commissioner, crit critics would also say 85% of the drug arrests in this town are black and Latinos. About half the drug users would be white. So something's got to give there, wouldn't you say? We look at that very carefully. But once again, uh, for example, in minority neighborhoods, unfortunately, there are a number of neighborhoods in the city that still have the highest crime rates. And that's been the case, unfortunately, 20, 30 years. Even though crime in those neighborhoods is down 70 or 80 percent, the shootings that we're still seeing, the murders that we're still seeing, are primarily in those neighborhoods. So that's where I put a lot of extra police into those neighborhoods. I have thousands of extra police this summer in those neighborhoods to keep the crime down. While they're there, they are seeing other offenses that they're going to act upon. So there's so many elements, so many streams here that have to be looked at. This is not a simple uh, 
uh, matter to look at. And it's good that we're having a public debate about it because that's what you need to have about this Commissioner, issue. I want to get to the big security scare that happened a couple of weeks ago when it appears that some people were able to get to the top of the Brooklyn Bridge and hoist a, a white flag. I, didn't, I don't need to tell you that the Brooklyn Bridge has been a target of terrorists in the past. It's very close to a number of top security spots. Mm -hmm. How close are you to finding out who did this? We think we have a very good idea of who was involved. That, you do? Uh, yeah. It's, and so why uh, haven't the arrests been made? Uh, knowing is not proving. That, uh, so when we have the proof that uh, we'll move. But uh, we have put, as you might appreciate, uh, exhaustive efforts into this investigation. And, uh, and is it terror related? Uh, not at all. Okay. Not at all. That, no. uh, it's uh, no, nothing of that nature whatsoever. Okay. That, uh, so that's the good news, if you will. Commissioner Bill Bratton, good to see Thank you. Thank you so much for joining us this morning.